Still haven't figured out the whole lag issue that I'm having while playing with the processing and whatnot. I know, I mean, I know Hegan is a very picky emulator and that is, it requires a lot of system specs, but still, you... It, it, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough, Helmosaurs. You are not going to bother me. I am going to take this route here. And actually, I took this route here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's okay, so I don't need to take that route here. What I should take, though, is potentially... Oh, I got it from the side, very nice. Is potentially this top route here. So let's go. All right, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I keep going back and forth here, but... But I just want to make sure that I get everything along the way. Uh, I already explored the lower paths uh, via that hidden wall. You remember that? Uh, but I don't remember if I got down here... But let's see here. Uh, no! I did not. By the way, those guys in the center there are called Medusa. And yeah, they shoot at you. That's not friendly. I got a key, so I definitely did want to come down here. Uh, I don't see any more tricky walls. They always shoot at where you were last, so you can use that to your advantage by flicking or whatever, doing whatever you want to do in one place just after they shoot at you from somewhere else and throwing pots at those stinkers are, is a whole lot easier than taking them down with your sword oh excuse me not pots skull heads <laughs> yeah anyway <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is take the middle route officially because I got a spare key and I need that spare key for something else uh oh uh oh, you guys, I can't do anything about right now, can I? No. Oh! Totally mistimed that. <laughs> um, I could jump down there, but I always like to do the top first before going down, because it's typically harder to go um, up from down than it is going down from up. Uh, should I? Yes, I will. <laughs> Just because... Uh, this is a rather complicated area, actually, so I don't want to... Uh, do this, like, because it's, it's like it's done in sections, I don't want to do it too quickly. And yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's reset that and try again. What I want to do here is quickly pull this up. Let's this boot dash. She'll go up. I failed. <laughs> Fail completely and utterly. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. That's all I can do. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Okay, I made it. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I need the spare key for. And now... Oh, no, 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 Not going to deal with you guys. If I can help it. Uh, you know, at least not directly. Because <laughs> you always shoot in the line that I'm coming at you. Oh! Coming at you on. I did not know that was open. <laughs> I wish there was a place that I could light up the world. Hey, some bombs. So that's indicating of something. If you didn't notice, on the other side, there was a uh, treasure chest, a rather large treasure chest, that you can get from this side here. But uh, I don't have the big key just yet. I'm just kind of exploring around. Um, 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 I don't think this is a spot. There's a key here, though. That's what I really came here for. And um, no, 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 no. I want bombies, just to show you for later. Uh, it's right. Ah, where? Flick. Oh, it's here. Okay, good. <laughs> so this is the place that leads to the meat, the meats of the dungeon, I guess you could say the big time dungeon item here. Yep. So remember that for later, but uh, just do not forget about the key while you're here either. Keys of all kinds are important and there's always just enough to complete a dungeon. So I should say, you gotta find all of them to complete a dungeon, and I am lo totally lost here. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> I'm probably making you dizzy with all the the snapping, the way that the uh, your light goes in the direction. But what can I do? That's how the game plays out. <laughs> all right, now I'm just gonna leave him be and go through here. All right, I'm gonna lead you guys away from the chest because I want what's in that chest because it's the compass. Oh yeah, and before I go down those stairs, I'm going to go around here, how do you like that? And I'm gonna get myself a rupee, how do you like that? Um, I don't remember if you want to drop down here, so I'm just gonna blast that. Uh, but I do remember that uh, one of those, I'm just gonna try it now. Nope! 
That one was a farce as well. <laughs> uh, the easiest way to get through them is just to do that. Yeah. But getting back through them is, is a dickens. <laughs> anyway, now you le as you can tell, it leads you back through here. But what I want to do is, uh, oh, yeah, go back through here again. Uh, boy, how did I get you through there? How did I, and how did I miss you with this pot? It's just, what? It's defying all laws of the games. <laughs> anyway, I want to go back through here for this. Um, it's not really super useful to me right now, but it's just something to uh, grab. Yeah, because you can only get it from this particular side, is all these rupees. Probably should have came here before having to go through uh, that Helmosaur side before, shouldn't I? Well, <laughs> my bad. Let's open this. Oh, there's a key here. I thought... Ah, so there's something important to get down here. I thought there, there's something... Hmm, I thought it was just like a prize. Well then, I'm most certainly happy that I came through here a second time. Uh, even though I could have, you know, only had to come through here once. <laughs> All right, do not destroy a hole on the floor. <laughs> By the way, watch this, watch this. Keep pushing it, keep pushing it, and eventually it goes right through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's kind of dumb like that. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, first I got the low health beep. That's that's not friendly. I could use one of those fairies that I've got, but... And I want to kind of hold on to them for a bit, even though I can get fairies earlier on, because I know there's some recovery items around these parts. And you see, this one leads back over to this right here. And now what you want to do is bomb the bejesus out of this floor, because you can tell that there's a safe floor to uh, fall down to over here. So let's fall down here. And now when we go up through here, we got this key, and it allows us to go up here. I know this is getting complicated, but... <laughs> and then you can open this up and get the big key! Woo! Which means, uh, actually, I, I can't really go and get the chest now, can I? At, at least at this moment in time, but that's okay. Um, what I can do, though, is uh, get this, which is another key! <laughs> keys everywhere, keys left, keys right! Can I push this? Yes, I can. What does that do? I kind of forgot. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot! Um, 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 what did that do? I forgot. I don't know! Was there any point? Perhaps, maybe! Who knows? But where does this lead to? It leads to this familiar room. <laughs> yeah, with the fairies and whatnot. Speaking of fairies, as long as I'm here, I might as well uh, go and... Wait, hold on. Where was the fairy room? I forgot where it was. The fairy room. Uh, fairy room was... Ah, I'm mystified. <laughs> I don't really need it all per se. It's just the thing of that it would be nice to recover as long as I'm in the area, I guess you could say. But I, I think I've got enough health for uh, what's to be coming, I guess you could say. And now what I'm gonna do is flop back over to where the big key chest was. You know, the, the big chest is that I needed said key to manage. And uh, yeah, gotta deal with you guys again. <laughs> I'll be flipping that switch uh, in just a minute, though, because I need to go uh, down the other path soon enough. Hold on, hold on, I did that totally wrong. <laughs> totally and completely wrong here. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, I just noticed it was on the right side, so I thought I would take advantage of that. I mean, it was on the left side, so I thought I'd take advantage of that by going up the right. Okay, we're good. <laughs> what a stinker. All right, so... This room once again. What that? Ah, no. Please give me some hearts. I don't like that low health beep. That low health beep, as I said before, is the absolute worst. I I would be tempted to hack every game that I have to modify them slightly just to remove any sort of low health beep in the game ever. Just <laughs> I would not have to hear that ever again. And anyway, I get the magic hammer. I can use this to drive wooden stakes down into the ground, and it also makes other certain things vulnerable to said hammer. And this is the main thing of the, the game, I should say the main thing of the dungeon, to uh, make some progress. It's still even help you make progress in the overworld, actually, because there's uh, uh, those squishy things that you can squish in front of the uh, uh, pyramid. So, yes! Awesome item right here! will make you 
Progress guaranteed. Now, I'm gonna go around... Oh, I can show you this now. See this? Look at this. Oh, the flip around! <laughs> yep, they are weak to the hammer. That is how you can damage these stinkers. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Please give me some hearts. I am begging you with all... Every, every fiber of my being. <laughs> Please, hearts. Somewhere. <laughs> Move it or lose it. By the way, those uh, turtle guards are called terrapins. And uh, now, what I'm going to do here is lead them over to the corner like I did before. Because I want to flip the switch and take another route through here. Uh, can I flip the switch using a pot? Probably. Oh yeah, by the way, if you didn't know... Whoop, yeah, they're bumpers. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious by their appearance. And uh, this is where I got the dungeon map, by the way. Uh, that crystal switch is for navigating other stuff. Uh, oh, hearts! <sighs> Thank you, mother of mercy! Okay, there's a switch there, but it's it's not going to work unless you push something on it. So you got to figure out, hey, there's a, there's a statue here. Let's push that on there. <laughs> and now we're going to go up to here. By the way, the dungeon is almost over. To your delight or dismay, one of the two. No matter I mean, whether you like this dungeon or not, we'll just say that. Uh, take that out. And... And... Get ready, get ready, you know the trick! You know the trick! Such sides! <laughs> it's so easy to take care of them that way. Alright, so here, I don't know what's the point of that crystal switch in the other room, unless it's just to get back, but... Uh, otherwise, you know, going forward, you have all these switches here and whatnot, so... Yeah, not really that big of a deal. And obviously, you want to shoot the eye with an arrow. It's kind of a Zelda... Uh, trade <laughs> trademark of sorts, I guess you can call it. And just like the first dungeon, if I'm not mistaken, it was the first dungeon, you move the whole wall over to the other side. Oh yeah, this makes the staircase pop out over here, and this leads you to the basement floor. Now these, these see these things right here? These are moles. They don't hurt you at all, but just think of their name here. Mole. Hammer. Whack-a-mole. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> That's the idea. Okay, so we got a, a door to open there with a key that we got in another area. But we got to switch over there. So, And if we hit this like this... Oh no! We can't get through there. So what do we do? We grab the bow and arrows and we shoot at it from a distance. Oh yeah. Get some bombs, get some more bombs, and I guess you make progress. Wait, how, how's the map looking in here anyway? Because I, I think I got everything. Yeah, I did. Okay. I just want to make sure, because we're, we're closing into the boss here. And now... Oh, 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 almost forgot. <laughs> Thank you, pause screen, for pausing the action. Yeah, if you're always, if you're panicking, just pause like that. And you're like, oh, okay, now I can think about what I need to do. I'm just gonna go right through the middle of them because it's uh, because they just kind of scatter and split when you hit when you hit them down the middle like that. And just try and kill them all off here. Just whoop, whoa, 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 why did I try and attack them? It was up. They have the shell of doom. Well, the shell of ultimate repelling. And doing that opens said door. I don't really think these uh, uh, lanterns have any effect on anything. And I mean, maybe to light up the other room, you know, the room next to this. But uh, other, other than that, I don't really see uh, much purpose behind that. And I believe this is a reference to the original Le Legend of Zelda uh, type rooms. So you got to find the block to push, if I'm not mistaken. One of them is the one which oh, it's that way and down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> whatever and this takes us remember that room with all the rupees and the key that I got there and yeah this is oh whoa, whoa, whoa. this is a room that leads to the boss that means we're nearing the end of the dungeon are you excited you better be excited I'm excited so let's go in and get your hammer out by the way <laughs> uh oh uh oh it's it's the Helmosaur King! And it's got this tail attack like a scorpion. It's got these splitty fireball things. It's just gonna let you see its attacks and whatnot. What you wanna do is hammer its, uh, yeah, hammer that. And watch out for its tail! Yep, when it, when it starts winding up its tail like that, it's gonna strike. So beware. And just, it can, it can do that from pretty much anywhere. And pff, to anywhere. Whoops. I got fairies, don't worry. 
close. I didn't even mean to run into him. But it's not that difficult of a boss. I'm just kind of, kind of derping here. What you want to do is attack him when he's not moving. So yeah, <laughs> or when you're invincible, that is another uh, type of benefit that you're looking for in terms of uh, your own survival, I guess you can say. Yeah, this mask is coming off. It's coming off. And I'm gonna hide. Oh, he went around that way. Oh, you sneak. You trickster. You phony. Uh, oh, 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 I'm gonna dodge like that. Yeah, it always seems to go for where you last were instead of where you're going, so it's it's relatively easy to take them on. And then once the mask comes off, oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> and once the mask comes off, slash away, slash away. And oh, whoa, 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 oh. Oh, why am I playing this boss so badly? It's not a difficult boss. Oh, oh, oh. Please, Pikagam, do not fail on this boss of all bosses. It's the first Dark World boss, not difficult. <laughs> I win! <laughs> and those, uh, those uh, traps behind them are just there to sort of kind of prevent you from going behind them because he can't attack you there. He can attack you at all the other spaces though, but yeah. Heart! Yeah! Crystal! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Dungeon 1 of the Dark World is complete! Also known as like Dungeon 5 now. Maybe like Dungeon 6 if you count Hyrule Castle the first time you went through it. <laughs> like along with its second run through. Oh. I've never met you before, have I? Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it the world which was transformed, I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. Woo! I believe we will destroy Ganon. I'll return to my original form at that time. Yes, I understand. I'm not going to have it repeated all over again. <laughs> In a way, you're the hero lead to the Triforce. Woo! And then you're automatically transported out. So now if we check our map... We've got other markings on the map. See the seven over there. And then we got over here at Kukeriko, number four, number three up there, uh, number six, number two. Number two is where I'm going next, obviously, for the sake of organization. And number five right there in the middle of everything. That's why I went to get those flippers earlier on in the game, you know, for the sake of the water stuff coming up later on in the game. So, yep, there is a lot more to come, both in the Dark World and the Light World. But that's going to have to be another time, because I'm ending off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.